Another visual tool that you can take advantage of in MaxQDA is called Max Maps. And Max Maps is basically uh, simply a mapping add-on that allows you to bring in any aspect of your projects in addition to free objects and pictures uh, and model what's going on in a section of your project. So if I click on Max Maps in the Visual Tools drop-down menu, it will open up a new window and in this case create a new map. Uh, the first thing to be aware of with Max Maps is that there are three modes, and those are, the f are represented by these th first three icons. So we have Selection Mode, and Selection Mode, I would just say, is the standard mode. Uh, you're using that most of the time. The next mode is the Link Mode. It allows you to draw arrows or lines between objects that you've brought in. And the third mode is Move Mode. It allows you to move everything in your map at one time around the screen. So everything else is then done in selection mode. And the first thing you'll probably want to do once you're in a new map is bring in objects from your project. And to do this, uh, very simply click on an object and drag it onto the map. So I've just clicked and dragged Joanna onto the map. Uh, you see a little document icon with the document name below it. I can also do the same for codes. So maybe I want to visualize uh, the hierarchy that I have in my code system. So I might drag in interview guide topics. You can see there it has the code icon. And then I could drag in all of its subcodes. Now another way to import objects is simply to hold alt and double click. So I'm going to hold alt and double click on recreation and you can see that it's been added. So if I want to, I can hold Alt and double click on the remaining codes and they're all there. Now I'm in selection mode. I have to be in selection mode to add objects and to move them around one by one. So once again, any document or uh, code, all I have to do is simply grab it and drag it into the map when I'm in selection mode. Now in this example here, we may want to draw, draw arrows or lines between each of the individual subcodes and its parent code, Interview Guide Topics. So to do that, we go to Link Mode. So I click on the second icon. You can now see that there are some options here for the type of link. So if I want to just draw a line, I click on the first one. And then I click and drag from one icon to the next and it creates a line between those two objects. So I'm just simply drawing lines now between my subcodes and the first level code interview guide topics. If I decide I want to move these subcodes around then, I need to switch back to selection mode. And now I can move these around and put them wherever I think they will look nice. You can also bring in memos. Now, the easiest way to do this is to go up to your memo manager, either by clicking on these two post-it note looking objects here, or by going to memos, memo manager. I now have the entire list of all the memos in my entire project. So if I find one that's important to me, I can just click on the icon and drag it in. You can see it takes on the title, that was given to it, and the color or uh, letter if it was assigned one. So maybe I'll drag in one more. And you can see that one has the M. Now what uh, differentiates Max Maps from just another free mapping software is that you have a live connection to your data. So if you drag in a memo, this uh, can display a lot more than just the title and the color that's been assigned. If I go up here, I want to make sure that this white square with the two red arrows is clicked on. If it's deactivated, it won't be highlighted, but if I activate it, it will have the orange highlight around it. Now I have activated my live connection. So if I want to see what I uh, memoed about here and uh, named career conflict, I can just hover over it and it shows me that memo. 
hover over the other one, and it shows me that memo. In addition, if there's a memo assigned next to any of the codes that you brought in, let's bring in money and financial issues, for example, because that has a memo next to it, I can hover over that code and see that code memo. In addition, if there's a document memo for Joanna, as you can see here in Joanna, there's an instant, there's a code memo there. So in the same way that you can act, uh, highlight over that memo to read it, you can highlight or uh, hover over Joanna and read that particular memo that's associated with it. Another part of the project that you may want to be able to bring in uh, is a coded segment or many coded segments. So the easiest way to do this is to right click on the code you're interested in. Let's take health, for example, right click and you see a whole host of options from inserting pictures to creating a link. Uh, and in this case, we want to look at the coded segments. So this gives us an overview of all the places where the code health was used in your project. And if I see something that's interesting, I think it's a good example of the health code, I can grab the red circle and drag it onto the map. Maybe I want to grab a couple of them. So now because we have the live connection, not only do we visualize that health is a subcode of interview guide topics, but we can show instances of that code, it's coded segments themselves, just by hovering over and seeing uh, what was coded with the health code. Maybe this time I want to draw arrows from the code to the instances of the code. So I go back to link mode, choose the arrow, and just drag from one to the next. Now, if I create a new map by going to the map drop down menu and selecting new, I won't lose my old one. You can see here each map is here in the options, is in the maps drop down here. So I can double click on this first one and get back to that one. I also might want to rename it. So if I right click on it, I have the option to rename. Right click, rename. And in this case, maybe I'll want to do. Uh, call it code hierarchy. So it doesn't matter how many maps you make, they'll always be saved and you can go back and click on them to see what you modeled uh, in a different map. So that's basically how you bring in different aspects of your project and other aspects of Max Maps will be shown in uh, following tutorials. Mm -hmm.